Friendly Artificial Intelligence, Wikipedia Audio A friendly artificial intelligence is a hypothetical artificial general intelligence that would have a positive effect on humanity. It is a part of the ethics of artificial intelligence and is closely related to machine ethics. While machine ethics is concerned with how an artificially intelligent agent should behave, friendly artificial intelligence research is focused on how to practically bring about this behavior and ensuring it is adequately constrained. The term was coined by Eliza Yudkowsky, who is best known for popularizing the idea to discuss superintelligent artificial agents that reliably implement human values. Stuart J. Russell and Peter Norvig's leading artificial intelligence textbook, Artificial Intelligence, A Modern Approach, describes the idea. Yudkowsky goes into more detail about how to design a friendly AI. He asserts that friendliness should be designed in from the start, but that the designers should recognize both that their own designs may be flawed and that the robot will learn and evolve over time. Thus the challenge is one of mechanism design to define a mechanism for evolving AI systems under a system of checks and balances, and to give the system's utility functions that will remain friendly in the face of such changes. Etymology and Usage Friendly is used in this context as technical terminology and picks out agents that are safe and useful, not necessarily ones that are friendly in the colloquial sense. The concept is primarily invoked in the context of discussions of recursively self-improving artificial agents that rapidly explode in intelligence, on the grounds that this hypothetical technology would have a large, rapid, and difficult-to-control impact on human society. The roots of concern about artificial intelligence are very old. Kevin Lagrande showed that the dangers specific to AI can be seen in ancient literature concerning artificial humanoid servants such as the Golem, or the proto-robots of Gerbert of Aurillac and Roger Bacon. In those stories, the extreme intelligence and power of these humanoid creations clash with their status as slaves and cause disastrous conflict. By 1942 these themes prompted Isaac Asimov to create the Three Laws of Robotics, principles hardwired into all the robots in his fiction, intended to prevent them from turning on their creators, or allow them to come to harm. In modern times as the prospect of superintelligent AI looms nearer, Philosopher Nick Bostrom has said that superintelligent AI systems with goals that are not aligned with human ethics are intrinsically dangerous unless extreme measures are taken to ensure the safety of humanity. He put it this way. Basically we should assume that a superintelligence would be able to achieve whatever goals it has. Therefore, it is extremely important that the goals we endow it with and its entire motivation system, is human-friendly. Rizard Mikalski, a pioneer of machine learning, taught his PhD students decades ago that any truly alien mind, including a machine mind, was unknowable and therefore dangerous to humans. More recently, Eliza Yudkowsky has called for the creation of friendly AI to mitigate existential risk from advanced artificial intelligence. He explains, the AI does not hate you, nor does it love you, but you are made out of atoms which it can use for something else. Steve Omohundro says that a sufficiently advanced AI system will, unless explicitly counteracted, exhibit a number of basic drives, such as resource acquisition, self-preservation, and continuous self-improvement, because of the intrinsic nature of any goal-driven systems and that these drives will, without special precautions, cause the AI to exhibit undesired behavior.
Alexander Wisner Gross says that ACE driven to maximize their future freedom of action might be considered friendly if their planning horizon is longer than a certain threshold, and unfriendly if their planning horizon is shorter than that threshold. Luke Muhlhauser, writing for the Machine Intelligence Research Institute, recommends that machine ethics researchers adopt what Bruce Schneier has called the security mindset. Rather than thinking about how a system will work, imagine how it could fail. For instance, he suggests even an AI that only makes accurate predictions and communicates via a text interface might cause unintended harm. Risks of Unfriendly AI Yudkowsky advances the coherent extrapolated volition model. According to him, Coherent extrapolated volition is people's choices and the actions people would collectively take if we knew more, thought faster, were more the people we wished we were, and had grown up closer together. Rather than a friendly AI being designed directly by human programmers, it is to be designed by a seed AI program to first study human nature and then produce the AI which humanity would want given sufficient time and insight, to arrive at a satisfactory answer. The appeal to an objective though contingent human nature, as providing the ultimate criterion of friendliness, is an answer to the meta-ethical problem of defining an objective morality, extrapolated volition is intended to be what humanity objectively would want, all things considered but it can only be defined relative to the psychological and cognitive qualities of present-day, unextrapolated humanity. Ben Goertzel, an artificial general intelligence researcher, believes that friendly AI cannot be created with current human knowledge. Goertzel suggests humans may instead decide to create an AI nanny with mildly superhuman intelligence and surveillance powers to protect the human race from existential risks like nanotechnology and to delay the development of other artificial intelligences until and unless the safety issues are solved. This can also be termed defensive AI. Steve Omohundro has proposed a scaffolding approach to AI safety, in which one provably safe AI generation helps build the next provably safe generation. Stefan Pernar argues along the lines of Mino's paradox to point out that attempting to solve the FAI problem is either pointless or hopeless depending on whether one assumes a universe that exhibits moral realism or not. In the former case a transhuman AI would independently reason itself into the proper goal system and assuming the latter. Designing a friendly AI would be futile to begin with since morals cannot be reasoned about. Cindy Mason, an AI researcher who has also worked with mind-body medicine at Stanford University Medical Center, believes neuroplasticity and new discoveries of the hormone oxytocin mean compassionate intelligence is essential in AI systems that exhibit socially positive behaviors. She has proposed a set of software engineering principles for engineering kindness that includes a pro-human stance and an architecture for giving robots compassion. James Barrett, author of Our Final Invention, suggested that a public-private partnership has to be created to bring A.I. makers together to share ideas about security something like the International Atomic Energy Agency but in partnership with corporations. He urges AI researchers to convene a meeting similar to the Asilomar Conference on Recombinant DNA, which discussed risks of biotechnology. Coherent Extrapolated Volition Other Approaches John McGuinness encourages governments to accelerate friendly AI research. Because the goalposts of friendly AI aren't necessarily clear, he suggests a model more like the National Institutes of Health, 
where peer review panels of computer and cognitive scientists would sift through projects and choose those that are designed both to advance AI and assure that such advances would be accompanied by appropriate safeguards. McGuinness feels that peer review is better than regulation to address technical issues that are not possible to capture through bureaucratic mandates. McGuinness notes that his proposal stands in contrast to that of the Machine Intelligence Research Institute, which generally aims to avoid government involvement in friendly AI. Public Policy Criticism According to Gary Marcus, the annual amount of money being spent on developing machine morality is tiny. Some critics believe that both human-level AI and superintelligence are unlikely, and that therefore friendly AI is unlikely. Writing in The Guardian, Alan Winfeld compares human-level artificial intelligence with faster-than-light travel in terms of difficulty, and states that while we need to be cautious and prepared given the stakes involved, we don't need to be obsessing about the risks of superintelligence. Some philosophers claim that any truly rational agent, whether artificial or human, will naturally be benevolent, in this view, deliberate safeguards designed to produce a friendly AI could be unnecessary or even harmful. Other critics question whether it is possible for an artificial intelligence to be friendly. Adam Kuyper and Ari N. Schulman, editors of the technology journal The New Atlantis, say that it will be impossible to ever guarantee friendly behavior in ACE because problems of ethical complexity will not yield to software advances or increases in computing power. They write that the criteria upon which friendly AI theories are based work only when one has not only great powers of prediction about the likelihood of myriad possible outcomes, but certainty and consensus on how one values the different outcomes.